No. Hi, right, good morning. This is James from the Off Grid Tiny's Clubhouse. And uh, I'm getting ready to go to Peabody. We're going to try to do that structural support wall. Say hi, duckies. And then all suckers. Yeah, let's see Wilbur and Daisy before we head out there. Come on, Wilbur and Daisy. These are this uh, urban farm chickens and ducks. Peaches, cream, scaredy, captain. Get the old Ford's transmission in. The off-grid uh, truck. It's kind of funny. Got all the tools loaded up, and I'll do some video right before I get in town. But all right, we're on the nice. back road. Almost there, and we'll film up to going in the driveway. So you know what it's like going to this old town that's about ready to die. Lights. Okay, we're at the Off Grid Tiny Clubhouse. We discussed some things we we're going to do before. And uh, first thing we're going to do, Jordan, my helper today, is uh, see this all this here? Yeah. It's coming down, all that nasty sheetrock. That's our first project because look at this floor here. This is kind of livable, but uh, like right here, see how this is all, you can really tell it's down. Like step there, then step there, all around there. That's weak. See the door here? How this here soaps down bad. Slanted. Yeah. So, what I'm get, but see, we leveled this floor here, kind of. I'm guessing the support beam, where the, there's a support beam here, see where the nails are. Then there's a support beam here. And my guess is this support beam sunk, so we need to cut that floor and jack it up with center blocks all the way down through there. Then, with a the new wood we attach to it, well, you know, that's where we put the new wood. So we'll start on the sheetrock and then after we're done with that. Start tearing down this wall, grab one glove. There's only one. Yeah. But basically, drag the trash can over here. So we put the stuff in it real quick. We're going to start with this right here. 
wcześnie. So I need to get this floor level down here, go up in the ceiling and attach that back wall correctly because I can actually see all sorts of spots where there should be expanded foam and there's not. So that's the next project. Anyway, here's, take your one glove and start picking up these pieces that have come down. This here. that the door special pet just that secret compartment. Mm. You have to take the shell start taking the shell outside and fitting that so it breaks it up and knocks it down in little bit of pieces. Now leave the trash can in here. You gotta get the shovel from outside. You have to hit that separate little pieces. See you out. Even with the nasty sheetrock down, it kind of looks better, right? Oh, yeah. Good. See, it's the... it just looks nasty. The sheetrock here, the whole house, I figured up was $200. All brand new sheetrock. Ceilings and everything. And that will make the place look tons of better. I can get that out. Huh? And my one break in half first. I'm not sure if I'm not worried about that piece yet. I'm not so worried about this wall. This stuff up here. I can get this. I just I just need you to break the pieces in the trash can. Sheetrock is holding in a lot of stink too. You know, I can tell the smoke in there. I mean, smell odors. That's why I said it's best to get the stuff out of here. It's no good anyway. Be able to get 
mess and uh, start to film again when that's done. Maybe show that on for you. Some hard sheetrock now though. Get the camera up. Oh, all right. Generator broke, so now you gotta do it the old fashioned way. Just make sure you get that pieces of sheetrock out of the driveway too. Uh, I'm gonna sweep the step, rest of the stuff on the sidewalk to the sides. So I try to figure out how to, I can pry these boards up without destroying them. I hope I brought my hammer somewhere. Have you seen it? No. Oh. It's probably here. Crap! Yeah, right here. Okay. Well. Thing I can think of is start with this piece here first. This here to me seems where, see it looks like it's low in there and it sinks right there. But this is just plywood now on top of old floorboards. So I doubt it'll get anywhere on this. Yeah, this is just this old floor stuff like I got here. This is a thin stuff. This is basically this. Oh, they're sticking floorboards. Dang it. Yeah, look how far that drops. Yeah, it's just how far it drops. all of today's plans with that stupid electric out.
see it outside yet? Mm -hmm. The outside. Uh, Now, see, that just kind of tears up in chunks. Yeah, I want to get it right. I got another idea. I don't think this is going to sink any further, so. I got some ideas, I'll be back. Alright, well, let me see that one last note for that powder box. These, see, these are three and a half. They're actually too long. I mean, half inch by three, three and a half beneath three. That'd have been perfect. The bottom's too damn long. So let me put this up here. boards and now I'm here. So strange boards are support that way. And now I'll put some more special supports in there. And then I'll put the lid will lift up flat from here to here. And then I'll show the battery boxes. There's a hood. Yeah. We go up back and direct the center box real quick. That's 
should wrap up this stuff. You get spare wood. That's a good project, though, Jordan. Next time, I'll fix that generator and I'll get some spare wood from work. We'll start, uh, we're going to box all that in properly. And then we can do the installation of sheetrock on that wall. Up here doesn't go in the capsule ready, I mean, the truck to where ready to leave. So let's move the caps like here from the other room and then the little nightstand. Huh? Yeah, 
Is it fair? That's I got it in there. I get it out. Oh. Yeah, go more that way. No more that way. Yeah, no, the table's in the way, so. Maybe, maybe have to move the, the table. Just move that chair and take everything off that table, and that tabletop will come off. So put it on there. up against that wall. They don't screw the hammer. Oh, then I don't know. But I got it in here because it wasn't a little. Turn it more. Now. now down. I got my feet past so this thing back. Down around the arm. What the fuck? Oh, wait, wait. Set it on the end. I think it's too in there on there. Like that. that. Yeah, that's got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a piece of crap. Now what? Oh, now help me set it back over here. Over in here. All the way. Now the See, because this is why I figured we can have this in the thing now. If anything, because we'll be, our, this is my project for winter now. We get a plywood platform built here, right? Battery box all secured up here. Look. Okay, and then we're going to run our insulation vapor barrier sheetrock. Re wallpaper this, okay? Then we're going to tear off all the sheetrock in this wall. Look. Insulation, right? Insulation sheetrock, sheetrock. This is a window we have to cut out the bay window for. We'll do this whole last. And then all the battery banks with solar, the thing there for the. Th uh, anyway, that wood chair goes back in here because it looks ugly. Oh, yeah.
Try to help get this little table. It's too heavy. Because we're not about that creature conflicts, right? Huh? Yeah. All right, when See, I put the, the insula, sheet rock will insulate, expand it from around these corners and I'll stop that. But here I figured you'd have a couch there and a table there. You can even put your stuff there. I think that round table will end up putting it here. And this big kitchen table over there in the corner. Oh, Alright, uh, let's see. So we're gonna take a break. Now we're gonna go bike riding. Do a little She's bit of uh, bike riding, folks. In this town. If I can. Richard Lemons is dumpy friends. <laughs> this bike's so much better than that mongoose now. I need to buy a brand new 26 inch Roadmaster for myself. I know. I'm trying to sell this one for 30. That's after I put new handlebar grips on it and brake pads and all that stuff and customized it. Huh? Man, I'm gonna cut back over to Vine Street. Do this field over here. To the left. Now nah, I'll go up here to side off. Nice fish. So rusty. And our two CDs to ride here like crazy. I'm hoping next time the next episode we get that. You know what I mean? Better equipped or whatever. That's a pretty sorry episode. Okay, I'll lead. There's that nice blue one over that 67 Ford. I'm gonna cut over here in front of heckin' North Sidewalk. This is where, this is where my dad worked during the 80s making lawnmowers. We should have put that in South Olive Street. Look at that little chair that reclines. 
That went pretty good, huh? Come on. Man, I wish that would have went better today there, though. I guess it did in a lot of ways. I definitely need more supplies, though. Like some sheets of plywood I can cut down to fit, you know what I mean? Get the support, fix that generator, get the support boards up, go ahead and make that bench seat, put the platform for the kerosene stove up there. Those will all be good. Huh? I don't know why. It shouldn't. You got the bigger bike. I forgot this is an all all an uphill climb. We're almost to Marcini's old house. I think that looks worse than our clubhouse does. <laughs> hey, just think of it, this bike's with the Peabody now. It's pretty neat. Usually somebody buy, buys a bicycle and they'll stay in that town its whole life and never leave. I think that his old house is empty. Actually, man, that's a nice lawn there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no renters in that, but it's all the way empty. I'll stop recording. Maybe I'll ride, record as we ride back up there. It's getting too complicated. To All right, finally make it downtown Peabody. Let's see if we can see where this uh, bicycle peddler shop is. Just moved in. <clears throat> That's remodeling now. They open in January. To which side of the street I think it'll be on. We'll go down this side of the street first. The old liquor store. Ooh. Oh, I think that's gonna be it right there, maybe. They're remodeling it right now. I think it would have to be that building back there. I don't see nothing here. Or here, are several empty spots. There's just no sign yet. Yeah, I don't think there's An empty building somewhere. I bet it's some Brock Baker's old building. It's gotta be. Well, I'll record the ride home and then a wrap up video and then we gotta go home. It's like four o'clock. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, huh? Are you serious? No. 
Probably maybe the sun was in his eyes. Probably because the sun was in his eyes. See, that would have been right in his windshield. Pretty decent town to ride in, huh? Man, they're tearing down that old veterinarian office right there. Holy cow. Wow. I have to take home take a shower though. Huh? Here, go on the left. Huh, I didn't beat him. Wonder where he's going. Boo. It's getting late, that's why. Cause it's getting late. No, he's got to work. Yeah, he took a part-time job. His wife did too. That's what shocked me. They're both trying to work part-time and full-time. They're both working seven days a week now. It's I know. Excel's the opposite. They're going crazy. I think Bert is gone. I think they're gone with the circus again. It's just their kids hanging around. It ain't Bert. You hear the way talk? Okay, I'm gonna do the rock. We'll do the wrap-up video real quick. It's their kids talking. It ain't Bert. Okay, we made it back to the clubhouse. I didn't get a shot of this. The third looks pretty good, huh? Wow. Here, let's take this on a walk through in the house and then we'll go walk through the woods real quick. We might be able to park the truck at the park and then ride the bikes around that, that circle around the park. You know what I mean? I'm not worried about anybody stealing my stuff at the park. But here, hold this camera for a second. I gotta open up the door. Next time we gotta finish some more stuff about get more done on the little video. This is, but you know, I'll, I'll be taking the caddy so we won't be riding bikes next time either. Unless you start paying for gas, because it's like 12 bucks a trip. If you wanna pay 12 bucks every two weeks to go to Peabody, we can ride the hell out of bikes then. That's actually pretty cheap, Jordan. Oh, it's dark in here, buddy, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Yeah, so this is it. Huh, traffic on South Valley. But uh, that's our battery boxes. This here will be the, uh, we'll put a four sport here. Cut that off. Put a heater there about right here. I'm gonna make some shells. Nice bench seat there, Jordan. I was thinking, you know, why don't we put a shelf here, right? And then we could put some of those nice die-cast model cars I got displayed up there. You know, the or couch here, I'll get another one. Oh, this is the way it's going to be, Jordan. We're going to have a shelf here, right? Then over here, I'm going to put this this corner thing here. And then uh, I think I want the bay window. 
like coming from here to there and then I want to put the door from here to here wow it emptied out this room didn't it yeah. wow okay oh they're just playing yeah, I'll probably somebody's playing music What are you talking about? It sounds like it's coming from the phone. I don't know. Oh, is this rip, rip tie? There's a game. <coughs> this stuff keeps falling down further, but sometimes, hey, sometimes we gotta clean all this out, fill it up with gravel, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then yeah, they're gonna build the privacy fence here. We're gonna put the privacy fence here and put gravel in there. This is starting to rot pretty fast. At least the back of the house stopped sinking. See that? <laughs> it's that flood. But look what we got over here, which is good. <clears throat> right there. Don't go on this. I'll go on it. More limestone rocks, see? I can finally see them all again. Like right here's a big nice pile of them. We're gonna actually dig those out and put them around the flower beds up front. Not today though, we're done today. That'll be another project, probably this winter. You know why? All the spiders will be dead and stuff in the winter. I don't wanna work with insects. Oh, the doggies are done playing. They dug it out of the holes. All right, I wasn't recording. <laughs> Wonder what this thing is. <laughs> There's the old Doyle Creek that keeps flooding South Ollie. Look at that. It's a constant flow, see that? There are deep spots in it though. It's neat. They need to put bicycle paths out here. Town could be something if they would do something with it. What do I see over there? Wow, that is some good zoom. Okay. Probably gonna be so sore tomorrow. They got barbecues out here, benches and everything. Ugh. Get on a chesty old bike. Mm. Ooh. What those things are. They're everywhere. There's some more. Over there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. SJ. With the old SJ. <laughs> nice. Now look at the fire pit and orange. Things over there. Oh, 
It's so hard to camcord and ride, man. That must have been a little incline or something. Huh? Yeah. Oh, they took out the uh, rocket ship. The old baseball field. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Yep. This is all new gravel here. He got our rims trued. The bicycle guy did. Yeah, yours has the right rims on. He you got your rims trued. He you put your white walls on. And uh, he got my rear rim trued, but he had to throw away the front rim. It was too bad a shape. And now he's trying to hunt down a uh, rim that will match the back rim on it. Yeah, we ain't, we're not even gonna try to pick it up till Friday. So, well, he may not even have, he might not even find that other rim by Tuesday too. When they're done, though, your your bike will have no more. Uh, well, you know, what I mean, the rims will be true to ride straight, and nice wide wall tires. Oh man. Well, that's it. Signing off for Tiny's Off-Grid Clubhouse. See you next time.